I grew up in a small town in Michigan. My best memories of growing up are involving basketball. I was probably six, seven, eight, you know, when I started playing uh, with my big brothers. And we'd just play horse and pig out in the front driveway. Anyone who can survive two older brothers is, is going to be a survivor. They called me the tag along and uh, they called me a snitch because I was always telling on them because <laughs> that's that was my role. I followed them constantly everywhere and they just they beat they beat on me. They beat me up, you know. I learned how to hide very well, but I also learned to be tough because I wanted to be able to play with them and if I would cry, they would make fun of me, you know. So I couldn't I wasn't going to cry. I wasn't going to back down and I think it really helped me to become mentally and physically tougher. My dad played basketball. Uh, when he was in high school and I think one thing that will always um, be near and dear to my heart is playing basketball with my dad. It was the best feeling, it was such a bonding time for, for me with my father. The summer before I was going away to college, um, I just wanted to be you know, the best player I could, I could be. And so that entire summer I'd get up at 8 o'clock every morning, we lift weights three times a week because in high school we really hadn't been into weightlifting, but now the college coach told me I needed to start lifting weights and then we'd play against the guys every single day. I think you know I always knew that I had to in some way be involved in basketball because I had such a love and such passion for the game. When I got to college I thought that I would want to go into coaching. I, I really enjoyed my college coach. My junior year in college my um, <laughs> My coach asked me if I would be interested in coaching uh, a seventh grade girls team at a private school. So they had two rules for me at the school. One was that I couldn't cut anybody, and two was that I had to play everybody. So my coaching consisted of, <laughs> in the last quarter, saying, okay, everyone, raise your hand, whoever hasn't been in the game. Okay, you're in. Well, my little seventh graders decided they were going to have a slumber party the night before the championship. They had a slumber party, they're not ready to play, we could have won the championship. And my assistant takes me by the shoulders and says, Gail, they're seventh graders. They're supposed to have slumber parties. But that's when I knew I had to coach. I needed to coach at the college level where I could coach people that were as committed and had the same passion for the game that I had. One of my favorite quotes is by Eleanor Roosevelt, and it's, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So always work hard, always stay positive, and dream big, and you can make those dreams come true.